another Summer Olympics has come and gone. And it was a historic one for Canada with a record medal haul for a non boycotted Summer Games. 27 medals in all, nine of them gold. With the closing ceremony yesterday, our athletes are making their way home with some of their new hardware. Many of them arriving this afternoon at Toronto Pearson Airport. And that is where we find our Greg Ross and Greg and incredible games. What was the energy like for the homecoming? Well, Kyle, I think we can call this a hero's welcome. We had a bunch of family and fans that gathered here, uh, and some of them were holding signs and cheering as the athletes came through those doors there behind me into the arrivals area here in the airport. Uh, and a number of those athletes, as you mentioned, carrying the hardware that you were just talking about. You mentioned 27 total medals in these games, nine gold, the most ever total medals for Canada at a summer games uh, outside of uh, the 1984 Olympics, which were boycotted. Eight of Canada's medals came in the swimming pool. Our swimmers were led by Summer McIntosh. She won four total medals, including three gold, and she was on that plane. Uh, she was also the flag bearer for Canada at the closing ceremonies as well. She was on that plane today with some of her fellow swimmers, and uh, she talked about uh, just how great it is to come home to a warm welcome. I can't say thank you enough to all of them and all their support. It means the absolute world, and we wouldn't be here without them today. I mean, even when we were over in Paris, we could feel their support all the way over there, and it was it was pretty incredible. I mean, it's awesome to see all the all the people that are waiting and cheering, and it's uh, it's kind of surreal to be back in in this airport where I've been so many times, but with the warm welcome. You just heard from Josh Leandro there, who won a silver in the men's 100-meter fly. Uh, Kylie Mass was also on that plane. She won a bronze in the women's 200-meter backstroke. Now, out of the pool, but staying in the water, uh, we had our women's eight rowing team that won a silver medal at these games. Jessica Civic, uh, one of the members of that women's eight team, was also on the flight. And I can tell you that it was very clear, talking her to her today, that for the last couple of days, she's been celebrating that silver medal very, very hard. Listen to this. Well, it was just such a grind and beat up that we just really took the time to celebrate and enjoy our last couple of our last week together. Can you interpret that for us? Thank you. Honestly, it's just been uh, three, three, four hard, year, hard years of hard work, and I think just being able to release that with your teammates in Paris after celebrating that that silver medal was pretty special. So, hence, no voice, which I had no voice a couple of days ago either. We're just <laughs> rotating through. It's been great. Hey, they're, they're having fun out there, and that's what's important. But, yeah, you could clearly hear that Jessica had no voice left. Uh, there were also quite a few athletes on that plane who did not win medals at these games but proudly represented the country. They also got a hero's welcome as they came here into the airport. Among that group, the youngest athlete to represent Canada at these games, 14-year-old Faye DeFazio Ebert, she competed in the skateboarding competition. She had her skateboard with her in her hand. Uh, she says she carries it with her everywhere she goes. She also had a ukulele in her backpack, which was sticking out, which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, she's a very multi-talented teenager. Uh, she uh, actually was able to put on a little show for us. She got the skateboard out, skated around the airport for the media that were gathered here, uh, and just an incredible level of maturity from this 14-year-old. Uh, but I don't get the impression she was ready to leave Paris. Uh, it's so exciting. Um, I'm like really like excited to like just kind of like go home, chill a bit. But I did like not really like want, I don't know, like leaving France. I was like, I kind of want to stay here and just chill. But like I had to go home and um, it was just so exciting. Like all the people when I was competing and like, yeah, I'm so hyped. Uh, just so hyped and standing in front of those cameras, handling it like a pro. And of course, it was just so fun to watch people stopping to see this uh, Olympic athlete skating around the airport, having some fun. And really, I mean, people who weren't expecting this, people getting off flights, stopping and seeing these Olympic athletes with their medals, some of them wearing their medals. So a lot of excitement here in the airport today, Kelda. And obviously, this is what it's all about when you're an Olympic athlete. You get to come home and you get to be celebrated by the entire country. Yeah, all of them incredible athletes. All of them deserve that hero's welcome. And we are already looking forward to what? LA 2028, right? Thanks so much, Greg. That's our Greg Ross reporting from Pearson Airport.